In this video, I want to show you a budget, rucking, or minimalist travel backpack that's often compared to the GORUG GR1. This is the CT21 by C Tactical. This company is based out of Vietnam. You might have heard them referred to as Chien Tactical. They also have an English-facing website, which is C Tactical, but it's the same company. The dimensions are going to make this work as a personal item on most airlines if you use it for travel. It's about 18 and a half inches long, 13 inches wide. And then the way I have it packed out here, it's about seven inches deep. And just to show you is 18 by 14 by eight sizer box, just common in a lot of US airlines. This thing fits in there just fine. This bag is only 21 liter capacity. However, lid opens fully, has a large, easy to pack main compartment, which is large enough to pack for shorter weekend trips. And worth noting, I purchased this about six months ago. It was called the 2.0. They've since upgraded to the 3.0. The only difference that I can see in these models is the new version. They added a top slash pocket here on the outside, which isn't on my bag. They also increased the price a little bit. I paid 60, it's about 85 right now. And this company is in Vietnam, so you do have to pay international shipping costs, which can be significant depending on where you are. In terms of quality, durability, construction, the CT21 is surprisingly well built for the price. They use all the top brand name hardware accessories. For example, this one is built with the 500 denier corridor of fabric. Like I said earlier, it's often compared to GORUCK packs because they have a lot of very similar features, probably for a reason. But for reference, the CT21 uses a lot of the same high quality Duraflex hardware. They have the giant number 10 YKK zippers on the main compartment. The stitching and the construction is great on both these bags. About the only obvious difference that I can see is this bar tack webbing on the straps and on the molly webbing on the GORUCK is a little bit thicker, more durable than it is on the CT. But other than those small differences, these two bags, really high price point, kind of a lower budget price point, are very similar in terms of quality. The CT21 comes in a couple of different versions and the external features you get on this pack are gonna depend on the style you choose. This is, I think their original design, it comes with a slash pocket, big Velcro pad here and here, and the molly webbing on the front and the sides. It also comes in a version that hides this Velcro panel that's called the silencer. There's another one called the Slick, which is really minimalist on the outside. It gets rid of the molly webbing and the Velcro. However, all the versions do have this large slash pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It's really thin though, especially if you have a lot of stuff in this pack. And it's a little bit hard to see inside here, but there are a few dividers and a little key leash. The webbing straps aren't necessary, but they can be useful if you want to attach things on the outside of the bag. For example, over here on the GORUCK, I have the Sea Tactical water bottle holder. Other than that, the exterior on the CT21 isn't super complicated. The top slash pocket that they updated on the 3.0 that my bag doesn't have, it's a great addition because that would have been really nice here. On the back, there is a water bladder hole, external laptop compartment, and the backpack straps. And comparing it to the GR2 here, the CT21 straps, these are quite robust for a bag of this size. Thick, thick padding here, really squishy soft. They use the EVA foam in this thing, which is kind of a higher density foam. That does a great job in distributing the weight. It does have an adjustable sternum strap, large buckle, little whistle here. This style is kind of a pain to move around, but once you get it in the right spot, it stays on there pretty good. There's no hip belt on here. You probably don't need one for a 20 liter bag. They do have these little straps, which you could put an aftermarket hip belt in here if you have the right webbing size. For some reason, they don't sell one on their website though. The back padding is very, very flat. It's got really thin padding and there's almost no air ventilation back here. And they use the same fabric. This is the same Cordura 500 that they use on the rest of the outside of the bag. I think this is one area where the GORUCK actually does a much better job. It's still flat, but this padding is quite a bit thicker, softer, and this material back here is a lot smoother and more comfortable than the CT. Last external feature, laptop compartment. It's one of these side top zips, so it only folds out this much. Kind of hard to show you the inside of a regular fabric here. This backside is a fuzzy lining. And then this thing, as you pull it off, it's the Velcro that holds the plastic frame sheet in the back. Pretty simple design, decent amount of padding, 
kind of a really small false bottom here. Now looking at the interior design, there's a lot more organization in here. Large lay flat zippers go all the way down to the bottom. You can open this bag fully if you want to get to the main compartment, use it as a travel bag, or just run the zippers part of the way down, stand it up and just use it as an everyday carry bag for carrying pretty much anything. The lid side has several pockets. This top one, which you can access from the outside of the bag, just a regular fabric. And then this large mesh pocket here in the middle. See, it has kind of this expansion here, so you can fit quite a lot in here. Basically just like a big packing cube. I have a toiletry kit in here and a couple little bags, but you could fit way more. This opposite side has way more organization. There's these two side stretchy pockets that are large enough to fit kind of one of those slimmer water bottles. There's this extra sleeve here in the back and then a couple of fabric loops for attaching extra gear. You can do quite a bit with this interior sleeve. It's large enough for a laptop, e-reader, tablet. If you have a second one, you can also use it for a water bladder for using this bag for hiking. Stick the bladder in there and there's a little hole right here at the top for sticking the hose. You can also do what I've been using with this bag is just use this for ruck plates. These are two thinner 10 pound plates. So versatile, you can use one or two if you want some extra weight, slide those right in there and just carry this thing around fully loaded. These two fabric loops on the top, you can use for attaching accessories, see tactical cells, a few things that incorporate into this bag. I bought a couple of these to kind of test them out. I wasn't really super impressed, not because they're not good quality, but because I just didn't find them super useful for what I'm using this bag for. This is kind of Molly admin panel, a couple zippered pockets here, and then this Molly panel on the back, so you can add a lot of accessories, extra pockets. Again, I didn't find this super useful, but if you <laughs> love a ton of organization, you have a bunch of little pockets and stuff you want to carry in your bag, then this thing could come in handy. As far as packing, cubes are going to work really well with the CT21. It's a thinner bag, so any of the thinner packing cubes are going to work. This is the Peak Design Medium. But depending on what you're carrying, you could use you know, the medium size or the small one, different amount of room on the top. You can fit both of them in there, but really got to squish them down and they fit, but it's pretty tight. Otherwise, there's room here on the top if you wanted to use a cube, something like that. And you can see this bag is kind of tapered. I have a little bit of less room here in the top than you do on the bottom. And you can see back here, this is kind of the edge of the zipper right here. The bottom of the bag actually sticks up a little bit more. So you do have a little bit more room on top other than just being level if you want to kind of stack more gear like a sweater. Plenty of room for small stuff. This pocket is decently large and this mesh one is deceptively large. You can actually fit quite a bit in here, toiletry kit or almost anything. That's the CT21 all packed out. Again, I didn't overpack it, but it's got a decent amount of stuff in there, about 4.3 kilograms or around 9.5 pounds. This is what it looks like on me fully packed. Again, very flat back padding back there, but Combine that with really thick padded shoulder straps, makes this a decently adequate carry for a bag that's only 21 liters. In summary, the CT21, it's a great little everyday carry or rucking pack, has high quality materials and hardware that are comparable to much more expensive bags like GORUCK. The large interior panel design is simple, and if you pack small enough, you can use this as a personal item for short weekend trips. The cons for me on this pack is a lack of air ventilation and this rather firm, hard back padding. It's a fairly high weight for a bag of this size and it has very high international shipping costs. That's all I have for the Shein C Tactical CT21. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And again, thanks for watching.